everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. Um, this will go approximately the 16th to the 22nd of August. I can't believe we're halfway towards September, but anyway, whatever. This is for Virgo. Virgo. Here we go. Alrighty, we're going to use the Romantic Tarot for your reading. Huge thank you for supporting my channel. You know how much that means to me. I love this, doing this work. It's all I've ever wanted to do, so thank you. Um, if you are interested in life coaching, classes, personal readings, or donating to the channel, all the information's below. If you're unsure, always happy for you to email me and ask for guidance, not in terms of a reading, but in terms of what sort of reading might be best for you or what sort of situation. Um, I've started up the life coaching and I've had a great response to it. So if you feel that it's, it could help you, please email me and I'll, I'll uh, give you some ideas of what we can work on together. Um, but remember the readings are only general. If the reading resonates, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Okay. Just write Virgo down on my list. Beautiful. And we'll get going. All right. Okay, so we have the death card coming through. I've actually seen this a few times today. I feel like when the death card comes around like that, there's some sort of change happening in the in the ethers. Something's, something's going on because it's making quite an appearance. So it could be that we are doing a, a major transformation as in, you know, planetary collective. Um, but the death card comes through when something needs to be let go of. It can mean that you need to let go of a way of doing, a way of being, you know, cycling, whatever it is. But this is about transforming your life. Sometimes it can mean a transformation in your world, like a divorce, a letting go of a relationship. Um, it very rarely represents physical death, but sometimes it can, depending on what other cards come out around it. Okay, so we have the Tower card coming through. All right, so what we've got here is some sort of transformation that needs to occur. So when the Tower comes through, it's generally because we've been shown the way you know, on more than one occasion, but we've been reluctant to follow our own intuition or our own inner knowing. And what happens then is the universe, you know, sort of comes in and says, no, you know, you need to let go of this now and you need to rebuild whatever it is you need to rebuild. Okay, wow. So we have three major arcanas coming through for you, Virgo. Big week for you. This is about now looking at things from a very different perspective. So, for example, if you've been, you know, trying to move away from a relationship for a while and you're finally getting the sort of the push to go, this could be about you now seeing things completely differently um, and trying to work out how you want to move forward for the future. If this is a job, it could be that you're now sort of trying to decide whether you want to start a new job, whether you want to go on a new career path, what you want to do. But this is an enlightenment coming from this. So some sort of change is being made here because you've either refused to make the change yourself or, and you've been sort of pushed in that direction or you've been forced to change, which is now sort of asking you to rebuild your life and a move in a different direction. Quite excited. We have the Three of Swords coming out here. So I feel like for whatever this is for you, whether it is relationship, job or some sort of change in direction, it's come with pain. This has not been easy here. So the Three of Swords always talks about something coming in to sort of push two people apart, um, but coming in to sort of, it's some sort of hurt and pain that's come in between something here. So if this is work, it could be that you've had somebody at work that's created this energy for you. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles coming through. I definitely feel for some of you, this is a relationship the Nine of Pentacles talks about being independent, self-sufficient, sort of having a really good indication of what way you want to go in life, confident, um, self-assured. And I feel this is you. I feel that you moved away from a relationship. 
So this death card definitely says to me there's been some sort of transformation in a relationship that was a long time coming but needs to happen. I feel that you're trying to contemplate now what direction you want to go in. You may be working at looking at things differently to heal a heart, but I definitely see you becoming single going into the future. Let's get the story. Okay, Ace of Pentacles coming through. So there could be some sort of payout here. There could be some sort of settlement if it is a relationship. But it can also mean the Ace of Pentacles can talk about you moving forward and sort of having to rebuild in your life, but having a brand new start here. And maybe feeling more stable single than what you were with a person. Because sometimes we think that, you know, other people can help us to feel more stable sometimes actually realizing how um you know what you can do for yourself by being on your own and you know I've, I've sort of had that said to me over the years and i never really understood what people meant by that um but we are sort of raised to think that you know we're going to be we're going to build with someone and you know it's important to have someone in your life but you know you can build your own stability and security you don't need someone to do that for you all right, and I feel this is what's happening here with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so we have here the Eight of Wands coming through. So something is, it's a very sort of suggestive card here. The Eight of Wands is a card that talks about messages across the airways. It's about, oops, my lamp just slipped forward then for some reason. Um, maybe that was a sign for me. <laughs> the Eight of Wands talks about, yeah, it's and it's been related to um, the arrows of love because, of course, the wands are a passionate energy here. Um, it could be that someone's after you now that you've become single. It could also be that the person you left behind is coming back. Um, Eight of Pentacles. No, I think this is someone new coming through that wants to work with you on something. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, but you're too busy looking backwards here. All right, let's see where we're going with this. All right, so we have the Five of Swords coming through. I don't think you're ready for something new. The Two of Swords, no, definitely not. I think you're liking being single on your own here. You're not lacking offers, though, by the looks of this. We have the Nine of Wands coming through here. All right, so what I see is that you have recently either or are about to become single, heading off on your own pathway. And I quite honestly see you getting quite a lot of offers now, but I don't think you're in the place to take the offers on. I really feel like this is a time for you to be single. You seem to be really focused on your, yourself or on your life. Um, and I feel like you're still carrying around a little bit of sort of this past sadness or this past energy. Um, there's a decision you're going to have to make here, though, because I do think somebody wants to build with you. Um, it could be someone who wants to invest in something as well. So it could be that you're getting other opportunities around work, if this is work. But I feel also for you who, who have separated from a relationship, it's like you have, you know, new suitors sort of standing at your door here. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we have the beautiful King of Cups coming through. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Three of Cups. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's making you a love offer here, but I think it's too soon for you. I feel that you're still healing from the past here and you're perhaps a bit, um, a bit focused on how to move forward. I feel that also it's worth saying here that you may have built a little bit of a barrier around yourself. So you may be a little bit scared of moving into something new here. So it could be that you're being a bit overprotective of yourself. Um, and I feel like this somebody here is, and I feel like it's a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, is really keen to get something up and running with you. Um, I don't think they're going to give up very easily either. It seems to me that they've got their eye on you. So they may have had that from the beginning here. But I don't think you're ready to move forward. I think you're still in sort of that recovery mode. Okay, so we have the death card followed by the tower. I think this is recent. I think you're still in this sort of hanged man energy. 
Um, you've still got pain around you here, you see. And I do see, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles that maybe you're choosing to stay single for a while. I don't think you're quite ready to walk into something. But I feel like, you know, th there's sort of this interest with this new person here because there's sort of... This Two of Swords says to me there's some sort of decision to be made. So maybe you're considering it, but maybe you're um, also... Maybe you're also sort of putting this on the back burner a bit. I do feel like with this Nine of Wands, perhaps you're being a little overprotective with your energy. You're not quite ready. This person, whoever it is here, I don't think they'll give up, but I do feel that they will wait. Um, but that's a decision you have to make here. You know, do you make this person wait for you if you're not quite ready to move forward? I feel, I feel that you're still stuck in your past energy here. You're not ready. But I don't think it's it, it's been a long time. I think you're still very fresh out of this. So maybe it'll take a little while to heal here. All right, let's get you an oracle card. Oopty doody. Oh, that one wanted to come out. <laughs> Oh dear, you never ignore them when they come out like that. The arrows come out. That's come out already today for somebody else. So let's have a look at what it says. It's about sort of like focusing on the prize, you know, keeping your eye on the prize, going in the direction you need to go into. Um, when the arrow zings through the air, it is inviting you to pay attention and signifying that you're about to make your mark in some aspect of your life. It illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have travelled on the wind and landed in the perfect place for your highest good. Trust that your job is to be relaxed yet focused, keeping your eye on the prize, yet releasing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it's supposed to. Don't worry about the how or the exact form. This is not a time to interfere with the, with the manner in which the arrow flies. It will make its mark and you will have cause to celebrate. So I think for you here, it's very much about focusing on what you want now in your future. I don't know that you're going to take this new offer up or whether you're going to wait to really decide once you've healed. Have a great week, Virgo.